Hi all, Planetside Agent here. Uh, today I thought I'd just do a video on the, uh, the Chinese version of a burner for the Trangia that, that works in a Trangia uh, windscreen. And it's uh, the isopropane style. So uh, <clears throat> there's, there's hundreds of thousands of videos on the Trangia cook system, which is awesome. And uh, there's been quite a few on the on the propane burners that work with it. So I don't know if I can contribute anything new to the <laughs> to the knowledge of all of these, but I thought I'd just knock one out real quick on my impressions and what I found with this. Uh, the main reason I got this stove is uh, just to kind of add to my collection, and it's inexpensive. I mean, if I was going to really use this, I would probably go ahead and buy the Trangia model, which is uh, about twice the cost. But I think it's probably built a little better, and I'll show you a couple of comments on that. But anyway, this is the one you'll see the most of by Brulin. And uh, it's almost an identical copy. I haven't seen the Trangia one except for in videos. And I do believe that the, uh, the actual burner or the diffuser is a little bit different. I, I, it looks like it's probably better built than this one. But, you know, that's part of the reason this one's only... <clears throat> around $22 instead of $40, $43 or more. And the, uh, but it looks so identical. I mean, I, I tried out once and it worked. I'm, I'll fire it up again for this video. But uh, one other thing I noticed, I'll talk about it when I get to it, is the, the little clamps here that used to secure it to the windscreen. So let's knock this, open this up real quick, and put it together. Now this kit I bought didn't come with the tea kettle since I already had tea kettle. In fact, I bought tea kettle uh, 40 more years ago. But uh, this is a newer model I bought. And uh, I since I already had the, I just added it to the kit. So just a side note, if you haven't seen these before, the, you can store the, uh, the uh, Trangia alcohol burner in there and the pot gripper, the two pots. These still still are in the plastic. This one, uh, the one I ordered came with all of the anodized and non-stick surface. I, I think I, this is the one I saw, the price was right. I didn't really pay a lot of attention to what it was. But anyway, it's not really a review of the Trangia cook set. Like I said, there's hundreds of them out there. Uh, Probably 99 of them better than mine. So, anyway, the way it works, that's what the uh, one of the holes is so that this piece will come through. The original ones, before they developed these, the older models didn't have this cut out. Some people actually went back and cut it out on their own. But uh, here's another thing that I don't, if anybody does know, please put it in the comments section. I haven't figured out what this other little hole is used for. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, I went out to the Transia website to see if maybe they had a description of what it's for, but they didn't. And I think I checked a couple other places to see if I could find something, and so far, no luck on that. So I guess I could write Transia itself. They might tell me what it is. Maybe I'll send them an email. But anyway, the way this works is the, the valve control that attaches to the tank comes through that hole. And then this is supposed to snap into here, and that's what these these little clips are for, is to they would snap in. But I noticed on this one, oops, I'm sorry, I took it out of frame. <laughs> anyway, uh, these little wing things are supposed to snap in there so this doesn't jiggle around. Not that it's really going to be a problem with this thing bouncing out when you're cooking with it, but it just makes it nicer. And I noticed that... Uh, Mine didn't fit, they were too narrow. I did bend it out a little bit, which helped, but uh, that's probably one of the reasons, uh, the downsides of the inexpensive ones is you're, you're paying for lesser quality. <laughs> but that don't bother me because like I said, I got this mostly for show. I don't know if I'm ever gonna use it or not. It's hard to say, I might, but it does work. So I'll just go ahead and uh, fire it up for you real quick.
paint. I'm gonna move it around to this side. Yeah, so you can keep this all in frame. Uh, just to review real quick, if you haven't already seen these and uh, been on the videos, this little tube up here is to preheat the uh, propane so it uh, vaporizes. More for, and uh, it builds the pressure up so you get better vaporization or, or more pressure behind the burner. As you can see, it comes in, the fuel or the gas when it's upright comes in through here around, gets heated, and then, then exits. Let me get this right here, up through here, and then exits to the uh, burner head. A lot of uh, <clears throat> a lot of gas, uh, propane, and and also white gas, and those, and even some uh, alcohol stoves use this technique to uh, preheat the the uh, fuel. And just as a side note, jet engines do the similar as they run the fuel past the uh, oil uh, radiators, and it cools the oil for the jet, and then it, it heats up the uh, the JP4 or Jet A, the jet engine fuel, so it heats it up so you get better combustion. So just a side note from my flying days. <laughs> but anyway, so it does work. Uh, the other thing about this, one thing about this setup, it'd be really good for cold weather. For warmer weather, you just use use it upright like this, the fuel canister because you're going to get the the liquid fuel is going to be down in here and then the vapors will come up and around but when it's real cold you don't get very good pressure for vapors so what they do is they flip them upside down now you're getting direct propane liquid fuel down the hose into the burner and this is where this really comes into play because that will heat heat the liquid propane up isopropane and vaporize it before it comes out to the jet and it works either way. Okay, so we'll just uh, light this up. Me, I'm gonna light the match before the uh, before the stove, before I turn on the fuel kind of guy. Uh, too many guys, it, uh, I don't know if any of you guys took Metal Shop, but back, they don't even have Metal Shop anymore, but we always had a forge. And about every year, one of the students, one of my fellow classmates, would burn, singe off his eyebrows because he would turn the gas onto the forge and then, and then light it and, you know, poof. So, uh, anything gas. I'm sure there's people out there that have learned that the hard way, too. So, anyway, so there it is. It's got a... It works. What you can do is in real cold weather, you can flip it over. Fuel. I think if you're going to be doing this, uh, you would want to uh, make some kind of thing to hold this upright. Turn this back around. One thing that I think I'm not grounding myself out. One thing I did notice with this is when you turn the valve off, it takes a little while to turn off because it's got to use all the fuel that's in the hose. So that's something to consider that you're not going to get instantaneous off if you're using this upside down in cold weather. Ordinarily, it turns off really quick if you just have gas. So I'll show you that. Come on. And now, if you uh, now that it's just running on straight gas. There you go. Another thing I, I'll add about using propane, which uh, I used an old uh, camping gas bluette stove for decades, and uh, even in the winter and in the snow. And one thing you can do is uh, keep this up off the cold ground, so anything you can set it on to insulate, like a little piece of uh, rubber or anything that would have some insulating value. Uh, oftentimes I'll use uh, foam covered in foil for a lot of my, uh, for most all my stoves that I put on the ground. Uh, just to insulate them from the ground. Or if you can get one of those pot stands that clip to the bottom of these canisters that hold it up off the ground. Then you could also warm it with your hands in cold weather. And I always used a windscreen which kind of helped increase the heat around there. So I always had pretty good performance on my uh, old bluette stoves even in the winter. Of course I... 
here in the Northwest, we don't get the bloody cold like you do up in Canada and Northern Europe and places like the minus, minus zero sorts of things or down towards zero. We rarely get that cold here in the Northwest. So anyway, just uh, some more thoughts on this. So using these kind of stoves, but it does work. It worked just fine. This, like I said, it's, uh, it's a lot cheaper. I bought this one just because I just wanted it just for the collection purposes. And um, uh, otherwise, yeah, it's uh, it does the job. If you're looking to go this route or you want to have to be able to use either the alcohol burner or this burner, you can have them both. This one does come with a little stuff sack, which is nice. So anyway, uh, so that's the... Uh, isopropane burner for the Trangia cook set and um, I really can't think of anything else to say so uh, I'll say goodbye so thanks for watching see you next time bye bye